down here is going to be 2D Shona. No, what? Oh, perch, 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 perch. Whee. The moderate sink version will be on the drop off on locations where putting on the 9.5 centimeter gravity twigs, and we're going to change the color. Just can fish deeper in then towards this and check. Good morning everyone. Today we or I am gonna do a little solo mission early in the morning. It's still summer. The water temperature is 21.3 degrees, so that's perfectly fine. It's gonna heat up during the day. I'm fishing on a typical Dutch polar system today. Um, some little canals, some small lakes connected to it. Some are murky, some are relatively clear. And I'm gonna head out and target like I said, a variety of species, and I'm gonna do that with the gravity twitch. Uh, excited to use it, but it depends on how much vegetation is out there. Uh, and if I have some fish on the boat, I will probably switch it up and go for a bit bigger, like the pulse tail roach or the 25 centimeter line for roach. I already regret putting a hoodie on, so I'm probably gonna ditch that for a t shirt in a bit. And I'm gonna head out towards the first spot and start fishing. We're at the first spot, already spotted some bait fish. It's really a narrow section before I head into the uh, the lake system, so we're just gonna head out and cast and do some twitching. I am using a gravity twitch. This is the 8.3 centimeters, little rail inside, combined with a SG4 rod, and this is a light game. This is um, a super light rod, 18 gram casting weight. Especially for my uh, type of fishing that I normally do, it is crazy light. The benefit of fishing with a little crankbait like this is that you can literally catch anything. Perch, pike, maybe a zander, but I don't expect them today. I mean, there are some spots where you can catch them, but that makes it a lot really interesting to do it like this because you, you don't know what you can expect. You could even potentially catch an asp. Fish jumping in the surface, that's good. In front of the boat too. So there is some bait fish out here. Some bait fish here, some grass. We've got some grass on it. And I got some 0.8 fluorocarbon directly tied to my main line. On the sonar, I'm using the side imaging to spot the left and the right, down imaging, or down imaging and 2D sonar. And I can really tell the difference between the 2D and the down imaging. There's a lot of grass standing upwards here. That's where the fish should be in between and hiding. Oh, perch, 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 perch. Whee. Gotta get this hoodie off. Jeez, let's go. Much better. Hoodie off. I'm just speeding it up, slowing down, speeding it up and slowing it down. Just really erratic. Usually the takes come when you pause it completely. Oh, perch, perch, perch. Ooh. Ah, they're too tiny. That's what she said. Ah. Like a big, big school of perch. Missed the first one. Just nibbled it close to the boat. But I like a decent sized perch. Just to try something, I'm gonna. Increase the size a bit. Putting on the nine and a half centimeter gravity twitch, and I'm just gonna change the color to something that sticks out a bit more. See if that provokes more strikes. The 
grass growing here. Good pike hideout spots. A bigger twitch doesn't seem to produce. I really like this golden color. 16 gram, little spinner on the back. Let's go. Getting a bit deeper here, so I'm slowing it down a bit. Oi, that was a good bite. Ah. That was a good bite. Ah. <laughs> That's the nice thing about these new little coolers from Savage. You can actually. Drinks cool. Let's see, to wake up in the morning. I'm quite tempted to switch back to my pike fishing gear. I'm gonna grind it out for a bit. Ooh, that was. That was a bird following the bait. <laughs> there he is. It spooked the shit out of me. So, guys, let me quickly tell you how you can add a extra treble to one of these 25 centimeter line through roaches because I am gonna switch it up today. I'm gonna cast with some bigger baits. We tried this morning with some crank baits that wasn't really productive. We had a lot of really small perch following the bait, but now I'm gonna cast with uh, these 25 centimeter roaches. This is the new moderate sink in the perch collar, and this is the traditional old one in the, uh, the shallow one. This one is more suited for today, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna add a second treble with a small little stinger to the back of the roach, just so I can fish it on top of the weed line. Uh, we are in the Netherlands, the pike are a bit picky sometimes here. So you wanna add that extra treble to the back because those tail nibbles are also bites that you wanna successfully turn into a fish that's being caught. So all you need is some copper 49 treble, some sleeves and a plier that can cut, that can crimp and that can also open up split rings if you want to add a split ring. One quick note though, the crimps that I got are too big. These are 1.5 millimeter. Turbo 49 that I'm using is 0.70. This one is too thin to fit in my 1.5 millimeter sleeves. Now there's a trick to it. You can put the wire through the crimp for more than one or two or three or four times just to fill up the space in the crimp. Now obviously you want to have the right crimp for the right type of wire you're using. But in a situation like this where I only brought these, these crimps I normally use to create my fuel carbon leaders, out of necessity, you could also just fill up the crimp by putting the wire through it one or two more extra times. So I will just grab one of the crimps and some of the carbon 49 wire, and I put the roach and the treble where they should be. And then I'm gonna put the wire through the crimp don't put the crimp and the wire on the split ring, just put it on the, uh, the line through modifier. As you can tell, I got too much space in here. So what I can do, is just give it a bit more wire. Put the wire back in for a third time, just to fill up the space in the crimp. And now we got it. Force it down really nicely. And then you can see the teeth mark in the crimp this one has been locked tight. This one is not going to move at all. Now that I've made the first connection, I determine where the treble should be, which should be close towards the fin over here. I'm just gonna cut off some extra wire because I will need that extra wire to fill it up on this side as well just like that. Not too tight, but not too loose. Now that I've determined the exact position that I want, push the wire through one more time. Check the connection. 
Don't put the trouble in your hand, guys. Just use the plier, hold it like this, and check. Not gonna move at all. Great. Final thing to do is to trim off the excessive wire that's sticking out of the sleeve because I pushed it through three times, not a fourth time this time. It seems to be all right. I tested it out like we just did and it just it's strong enough to support it. Like I said, trim the excess wire and we're done. Could add a stinger spike too, especially with trolling. You want to have that treble flying around loosely. Now I'm casting, so what I usually do is I just put the modifier in like this, pierce the back with the treble just lightly like this. Don't shove it in like it's really deep because then you need more force to get it out. But this is just to fix the treble at its position. So when you're casting, the treble doesn't fly around and stick on the side of the, uh, the bait because if that happens, the bait doesn't swim correctly. And if it does swim okay, then you will have pro problems hooking the pike. Um, I'm gonna remove the uh, hook protector. And this treble I will pinch lightly in the belly like this and then we're good to go and now we can cast with the 25 centimeter roach put an extra treble underneath it and i'm gonna do the same for the moderate sink over here because that one i'm gonna use on the drop off so the shallow runner i'm gonna do it on the uh, slow sink or the shallow runner whatever you want to call it the ss version i want to use it on top of the weed lines fish it like 50 centimeters deep tops the moderate sink version will be on the drop off on locations where it goes from you know one and a half to five meters or something just on that little edge and then i can fish deeper and then towards the boat also speaking of big stuff i am gonna cast these 25 centimeter roaches with the big bait specialist this is the sg4 rod from savage gear it is 258 centimeters long this has a casting weight up to 200 20 grams. The benefit of this setup is, is that I got the fluorocarbon directly tied to my main line. So when I attach a line through like I'm doing now, I can just reel up this part of fluorocarbon through the eye sockets because the line is directly connected to it. There's no swivels or anything that can damage the tip of my rod. Um, if it becomes really, really annoying, just cut it off and just retie it once you're done. Um, but for now, we should be good to go to cast this puppy. Switched up to a little gravity twitch. One more cast. Just gonna do a slow and steady retrieve, see if that works. Fish are on. <laughs> it's not a giant, but... Well... Hmm? Size of the perch, size of the twitch bait. I would say this is a 15 centimeter perch. <laughs> Swirls behind it, perch coming through the surface. Got it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it came off. <laughs> that wasn't a bit of a hurry, but shows you the grass we're dealing with.
not a giant, but cool take. Of the day. Not a giant, but a, a cool looking fish, and the take was really good as well. So, just gonna return her into the water and see if we can get a bigger one, and maybe even one on a crankbait. But, uh, cool fish. Bye bye, buddy. Yes. Not much damage at all, I have to admit. That's good. Ah, here on the back. Well, Let's hammer this spot a bit more. Ooh. We are uh, trolling towards the next spot just to check if there's uh, some activity on the drop off. And I'm zigzagging over the edge, up and down, up and down. I got two crankbaits. One on my left side is the uh, 5 to 18 grams casting weight short little rods that I've been using to cast these little crankbaits and on the right side I got my longer rod which is a SG4 short game casting weight up to 42 gram this one is equipped with a SG8 2500 spinning reel summer is ideal to mix a variety of techniques during short or longer sessions bring some crankbaits, some spinners, some bigger savage swim baits and you will have a ton of options to choose from. Having these options makes you more agile and you can adapt to whatever the lake throws at you. If you see some perch hunting in the surface you can switch to a small spinner or if you see a big pike signal on the sonar you can put a big bait on a big heavy rod. Being able to jump at each opportunity makes the fishing day a lot of fun. Jesus. That little bastard. Come on buddy. Scared the shit out of me. Probably scared him too. That was a bump. Oh yeah, definitely. Next one. Well, that was a short morning session. We gotta head back because work is calling. We had some fun. We. Uh, had a lot of action on the gravity twitch. That's it for now guys. Thanks for watching. I will take you guys on uh, more of my solo uh, quick sessions because I do like fishing like this. Just a couple of hours before work kicks off. It's 12 o'clock now. I'm done for today. I'm uh, fulfilled so to speak and I can head out and uh, put the boat back on the trailer and uh, get some work done as well. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.